back into the booth here on the Beacon Broadcasting Network. I am John Scudris getting you set for the second half of our doubleheader and second half of Senior Day. We're pleased to bring you an exciting men's hockey matchup between your UMass Boston Beacons and the University of New England. Two teams with inverse colors and inverse records. Beacons coming in 15-4-3 on the year, wearing their white jerseys and blue trunks. Meanwhile, in all blue, the University of New England Nor'easters coming in 8-13-1 to this, the final regular season home game of the season at Clark Athletic Center Ice Arena. Here is Travis Daniel, leads this school in their history with power play goals with 18, looking for number 19 here as he gets control. Centered in front, they score! Who else but Steven Bucco, number 25, the junior transfer from UMass Lowell with his third goal of the season, his 13th in 67 career collegiate games. And the Beacons have capitalized on the power play with 14 minutes to go. They lead it one to nothing. Cassidy into the attacking zone. He's being double teamed. We'll have to find a little bit of help on the power play as he will... Instead, find some room in the near side boards. Get it back on a one-touch pass there from Cobb. Cobb and April playing a little catch and doing it again as April will go cross-ice now. Oh, and falling to his Tukas untouched and somehow drawing a whistle from it. <laughs> will be number nine out there, Zach Loki. And Jeremy Finger can't believe it because he's heading to the penalty box for two minutes. Here's Goff and Daly. Goff out there along with Gildersleeve on the near side and... Healy on the far side as this one is one back to the point. Worth goes towards the net as it's an opportunity with the two-man advantage. One touch to the near side. Here is number 10, Jared Melman. He's right in the slot. He scores! Jared Melman with the howitzer cannon. And the Beacons see their one nothing lead evaporate that swiftly. And for a minute 25, they will still be shorthanded. Melman back on the ice. He's the team's leading goal scorer, but he can't win this face off back in front and what a save rebound. They score! Jared Melman and it's 2 1 Nor'easters. Single handedly dicing the dreams of UMass Boston here on a Saturday afternoon as number 10, Jared Melman, the junior from San Jose, California, like a shark in shallow waters, finding the rebound and fisting this one in past Zach Andrews. It's 2 1 Nor'easters on the Beacons Broadcasting Network. 35 to go on the 5 on 3. Beacons will then have a 5 on 4 for about a minute 20. As Bishop drops it between his legs, Bucco will move forward for McIntyre as he gets into the attacking zone on the far side circle and into the corner as he fists it across around the world to Dixon at the point. At the umbrella's tip, it's going to be Bishop. He switches places with Bucco, who thinks about firing it in, does. Deflected, oh, and oh, what a great play by Bishop. He lost his balance, lost an edge, but was able to keep it away from a 2-on-1 the other way. And now McIntyre behind the net. That's the end of the 5-on-3. Still trying to cash in before the next defender gets out there. Shot is blocked down in front in the circle. And this defense continues to play well. Here's Dixon. Dixon right to left to the top of the point with a minute 10 remaining in the 5-on-4 now after the kill on the 5-on-3. Here's Buko. Buko down low to Daniel. Daniel looking for help. Can't find it. Thinks about going back up to the point of the umbrella. Instead, he drops it for Buko. His shot. They score! Steven Buko, where have you been all our life? Didn't play the entire first half of the season, and the UMass little transfer is single-handedly carrying the Beacons. It's 2-2 on the second of the game from the junior from North Providence, Rhode Island. Dixon at the top of the blue line goes D to D for Cornell at the umbrella's point, and now it is going to be DeAugustine firing it in, and he scores! Frankie D'Augustine delivers, and the Beacons have taken a 3-2 lead. And the Beacons just trying to get control of the puck, as now it's going to be pulled back into his own zone by Bucco, the man with two goals, as he finds Peter McIntyre. Peter knows what it's like to have a multi-goal game. He had one when he scored a hat-trick against these 
Nor'easters back in November, and they score! Travis Daniel with the deflection. The initial shot from Peter McIntyre, and for Travis Daniel, it's goal number 10 on the season, goal number 43 in his stellar career, and the Beacons have delivered on the power play again. They're counted fourth power play goal of the game, and they lead 4-2 with 12-11 to go in regulation time. As the faceoffs won by the Nor'easters, back to the point, an opportunity to set up a cycle. Oh, and off the rebound attempt, the backhander by Healy's wide, and they score! It's a power play goal for the University of New England, and the Nor'easters just will not go away. They're storming back here in the third period as they trail 4-3. to three. The goal, from the looks of it, will go to Zach Loki. He, the captain is not out there as Daniel will be on the bench. Instead, Grinhouse, one of the very good seniors, wins the faceoff and they fist it down. Daly chasing after it, but beating him there will be Patrick Borer as he finds his partner in crime out there. And now moving forward with it is Gildersleeve as he fires this one all the way in for Houston to get. 19 seconds to go. Beacons can clear and win this game, and they do. And they do, and getting control is Albie Daly. Daly is hooked down from behind. No call as the Beacons get control behind the net, but that will just about do it. Finger to Grindhouse. Oh, how good would that have been for the senior? But Melman won't have time to set anything up. And the Beacons have swept the doubleheader on senior day, winning a couple of one-goal affairs. 4-3 to three is the final in this one. And a sigh of relief from the coaching staff and the players as a very gritty game opponent came to play today in the form of the Nor'easters of New England. They, however, go down by the final score of 4-3. to three.